Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to write java program to find lcm of two numbers so guys lcm full form is least common multiple which is the smallest number that is divisible by two numbers entered by the user so guys let's say for example the numbers that is entered by the user are 72 and 120 so we need to find the next smallest number in such a way that both these numbers can divide that particular number so in this case lcm it is equal to 360 that's because the next smallest number is 360 which can be divided by both that is 72 and 120 so 120 multiplied by 3 is 360 and 72 multiplied by 5 is 360 over here so guys we need to write a java program using this logic in such a way that both these numbers will divide that smallest number that we want to find so let us move to the eclipse id over here so let's say we need to provide the first two numbers from the user over here so we will say n1 and n2 as the two number variables and we will ask the user to enter the first number over here using the print statement so we have enter first number as the label so user will be entering the first number by using the scanner class we will be taking the input from the user so sc new operator followed by the scanner constructor and inside the parenthesis we have system dot in that will help us in order to take the input from the console so over here n1 it will be equal to sc dot next n so guys this line of code will help us in order to take the input that is the number from the user and assign it to this variable that is n1 now the second number will be also taken so i will simply copy this line of code over here and paste this and i'll ask the user to provide the second number that is n the second number over here and in this case the number should be assigned to n2 over here so we will say n2 it is equal to sc dot next n so guys using these lines of code we have taken the two numbers from the user over here now we will have to find the lcm so initially int lcm we need to assign the highest number from both these numbers over here so we will be using our ternary operator so n1 is it greater than n2 we will check whether n1 is greater than n2 in this case and if yes then we will assign the number that is n1 to lcm over here or else we will assign the value of n2 to lcm over here now guys what is the logic behind assigning this highest number over here that's because we need to find the highest number out of both these n1 and n2 and after that we need to increment the numbers by 1 in such a way that both these numbers that is n1 and n2 can divide that particular lcm number so over here LCM is being assigned the highest number out of both these numbers that is entered by the user n1 and n2. Now what we will do is we will use the while loop over here. So guys, while loop inside this we will be having our condition as true. So over here this is one of the specific conditions in such a way that the control flow will go inside this while loop every time. So guys, this is the infinite while loop and it is used in order to find one particular answer. And once we find the answer, we break out of this loop. So it is very important to understand that whenever you are using this while loop using the true condition inside this parenthesis you have to have a break statement over here after a particular condition is met so over here what will be the condition we need to check inside this if condition whether this lcm that is lcm person n1 so we need to find whether this n1 can divide this lcm and also n2 can divide the lcm so lcm person n1 is it equal to 0 in our case and again we have another condition as lcm person n2 over here because we want the second number also to divide this lcm is it equal to 0 so guys basically we are using this percent operator over here which is the remainder operator it will divide the lcm number by n1 and the remainder will be found out and if that remainder is 0 that means n1 is perfectly dividing this lcm number similarly we are having this expression with the n2 that is the second number as well and if we find such a number which is stored in lcm which is divided by both that is n1 and n2 then we have found our lcm number so over here we will simply say lcm of two numbers so inside this quotes we will say lcm of entered numbers and then colon and then we will simply say lcm over here so lcm of entered numbers it is lcm now guys as i have told you since we are providing the true condition inside this while loop this is the infinite loop so we have to break out of this loop 
once this condition is satisfied over here so inside this if condition after printing the statement we will say break over here so that the control flow comes out of the loop now guys after this if condition let's say if this condition is not satisfying what we have to do is we have to increment the value of lcm so we will say plus plus lcm over here so guys every time the condition is not met we are incrementing the value of lcm by one over here and then the next time the lcm will be again checked whether it is divisible by n1 and n2 over here so guys let me just save this file and try running this code now so we will take our same example over here that is 72 and 120 so we will first say 72 over here and then the second number it is equal to 120 so as you can see lcm of entered number is 360 and that is what we wanted lcm is 360 of both these numbers now let us take another example over here let's say the two entered numbers are 10 and then the other number is 20 so guys what can be the least common multiple that is the lcm of both these numbers if we start from the number 20 can 20 divide by lcm that is 20 yes in this case and can 10 divide by lcm that is 20 in this case yes in this case so the lcm will be 20 for both these numbers so let me press enter over here as you can see lcm of entered numbers it is equal to 20 let us take another example let's say we take the first example as 10 over here and the second example as 25 in this case the 25 number is higher so lcm will start from here and then we will increment the number one by one at a time so to find out the lcm 25 multiplied by 2 will give us 50 and 10 multiplied by 5 will again give us 50 over here so 50 should be the lcm let me just enter so as you can see lcm of enter numbers it is 50 so guys in this way we have easily written our java program in order to find the lcm of the two numbers that is entered by the user by using this logic now guys there is another way in order to find the lcm of the two entered numbers by using the gcd so as you can see there is another formula to find lcm so lcm it will be equal to number one multiplied by number two these are the two numbers that is entered by by the user and then divided by gcd so guys gcd is the greatest common divisor the program for which we have already seen previously so you can use that code in order to find the gcd so guys i leave this formula up to you as a homework for you so that you can practice on your own and find out the lcm of two numbers by using this formula over here so guys practice on your own in order to write this java program using this formula of lcm so guys that's it in this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is a java program to count the number of digits in an integer so stay tuned